Hello guys, welcome back. Now the fun part starts. We are going to create our flow, which is going to make the HTTP call out and we are going to access our employee data from the source system through this flow, okay? So what I'm gonna do is we will go over to a quick find here and look for flow and we'll go to the process automation and click on new flow here, okay? And the flow that I'm going to create is going to be a screen flow, right? So I want first somebody to enter the employee ID of the employee that he's trying to in fetch the information off. And then we are going to make the call out. And then the response that comes, we are going to display that response in the form of a UI as well, another screen. So here I'm going to choose a screen flow and then we'll hit the create button here. The first thing is we will create a screen. So I'm going to choose screen here and uh, the label we are going to say enter or input employee data. Okay. And here I will add a text component on the screen. So this is going to be the text component and we will call it as enter employee ID, right? This is what we want and it is a required parameter and then we are going to say done. So our first screen is ready and now this is where we are going to invoke an action. Okay, so here I'm gonna choose action here and out of all these actions, we are going to create an HTTP callout here. There is a button create HTTP callout and we are going to call our employee external service and we will provide the name credential. So what we are saying here is, what is the system that you're trying to hit? So all that information, we have provided it in the name credential because name credential has the URL of the system that we want to hit, the external system, and the external credentials contain the authorization as well as the protocol to use and also who is going to be our auth provider, right? So here I'm gonna choose, this is the name credential and then if you see the moment you chose, it populated the URL. Now, which URL it is? This is the URL of our source system. If you remember, we got this URL from the my domain in the source system. Hit the next here and we'll call it as fetch employee data with ID. Okay, and what is the method? You can choose a get or a post. So right now there we are going to choose get. We are just fetching the information. And here the URL path, this is the URL up till .com. Now, what is the URL path? If you remember in the postman, this is the call we made, right? So if you go here, this is the call we made and it has slash services, slash data, the version, S objects, employee HR data. And we are going to just go ahead and copy this and we will go back and paste it. And we're not gonna pass a fixed ID. I'm gonna pass a parameter and I'll call it as ID. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And ID is of which type? It is of the type string. So if you have, let's say more parameters, you can add them into this add key here. If you have more than one parameter, we will set up them through the query parameter here. Now it is asking you provide the sample response. Now, when you are making this call out, how the response looks like, right? And here I'm going to provide the sample response. If you remember when we made this call, this is the response that came, right? So here we're gonna go ahead and copy it. And we are going to paste the sample response here and we're going to hit the review button and all of this is done and we're gonna hit the done. Last activity date is of the type date and done. So we have specified the get request and in the get request, we are also telling this response is in this format. The reason it is asking you for a response is behind the scene, it is creating your wrapper class. It is basically making the call out. All that Apex class is dynamically getting created for this call out. And from the UI, all you're doing is creating a flow and you're making an HTTP call out. So this is the get request. And here we have provided the sample response and hit the save. Now we are going to say, we're gonna store employee information and then set input values for the selected action. So for this action, 
in your get request you set something called as id right where is this id coming from so id is coming from the screen that we created and in the screen we created a text field of the name called enter employee id because if you remember if you go back in the previous place what we did was after our get request we uh, we sent a parameter with the name id now what is the value of the id whatever the user has entered in the previous screen and then we're going to hit the done here so now we have entered the employee data in this screen it is going to invoke this action and uh, then we are going to show the response in a form of a screen again so here we're going to go ahead and enter and we're going to say this is called as output employee data and here all we're going to do is we're going to display the text and here we'll say employee name and here i'm going to say employee name i'm going to make it bold and the response is going to be available is so here outputs from the store employee call out we will go to to access if it is a successful response this is what we are going to display okay so the first name of the employee is stored in this variable all this is created behind the scene okay so here i'm going to fetch the employee name and this part i don't have to make it bold and then i'm going to give some space and i'm also going to copy the last name so here 2xx and the last name is stored over here so i copied the last name as well and then we are going to add another display text here and this time we'll call it as employee dob date of birth okay so here i'm going to say date of birth and I'm going to make this bold as well. And then here in the resource, I'm going to choose the output of the callout. It's stored and the date of birth is available right here, date of birth. So it's gonna fetch the date of birth also. And this part, I don't wanna make it bold. I'm gonna do this. And then the other display text is we are going to put employee salary. We are gonna display employee salary. And here I will say salary and then resource it is this one to xx and the salary is stored here and we will make this as bold okay make sure okay salary is here display text what else we want to show now let's say employee id employee number let's say okay employee number here i'm going to say employee number and the response is here and 2xx and then employee id we can put it or employee id let's do this one this is basically that explicitly what we are specifying so this is our employee number and i'm going to make this bold so from all the response that came back i'm only displaying four things the employee name the date of birth of the employee the salary and the employee number okay and now we're going to hit the done here and we will hit the save we'll call it as fetch employee data with id and then hit the save here so this is our screen flow that we have created it has one screen where the user is going to enter the id of that employee and then we are going to make the call out we are passing the id to that call out and then that call out is going to return you a response and the we are only picking up important pieces of that information and displaying in the form of screen okay so now we are going to hit the activate how we will invoke this flow you can put this flow on a particular object create a button create an action you can do whatever you want you can invoke that flow so now we have created the flow now in the next video we are going to see if the flow is working as expected or not so I'll see you then. Thank you so much.